In this tutorial, we will learn about spline command in detail. If you want to use spline command from keyboard, the keyboard shortcut is SPL. Enter and you can activate spline command. If you want to give it from ribbon, for that you have to click on draw. Then there are two types of spline are there, spline fit and spline CV, that is control vertices. So at first we will create this spline fit. Click on the command, give the first point and click in zigzag mode. So it will create a smooth curvature. Press enter to come out. If you cl click on this spline, it, it is passing through the fit points. That is, that is the meaning of spline fit. That means it will pass through the fit points. And the second is spline CV that is control ver vertices. So it will be created with reference to control vertices. So you will have to specify the control vertices. Click the first point, second point. So that point will act as a control vertices. And as per that, the spline will be created. Press enter to come out. If you click on this line, you will view the vertices. If you manipulate these vertices, the shape of the spline will be modified. You have to at first create the spline and then you can modify the shape using this either fit points or control vertices. You can create the desired shape. Press escape to come out. Spline. Then the first option is method. It is the same. You can choose fit or CV. Whatever is the requirement. So I will go by fit, give the first point. Now here, next option is start tangency. That means you can define the tangency for the curvature that will be created. Suppose I give tangency like this and I will give the second point. So my curve is created like that. If I give third point, fourth point and if we, I click on end tangency, so using this tangency parameter you can control the curvature of the spline how you want it click there so spline will be created like that so start tangency will be the curvature at the start of the spline then again spline then start point then there is one more option is tolerance if we give suppose tolerance of 1 enter and if now we create the spline, so it will be created with tolerance of 1. If you click the spline, so you can view that the control, the fit points are away from the spline actually. In the original spline, it was on the spline, but in this case it is away from the spline. That means it a tolerance of 1 mm is used, so this distance will be within the tolerance of 1, one unit actually. So in this way you can control the curvature using tolerance. Then there is other option is undo. If you want to cancel the last point, you can click on this undo. So last point will be cancelled. And if you want to connect it to the start point, click on this close option. So a close spline will be created. Then there is one more option is object. You can create spline using object also. So for this object, if we click on it, we will need a spline fit polyline. So at first we will create this spline fit polyline. We will escape polyline create. We will create one polyline. Then to convert this polyline into spline fit, click on it, right click, and then select polyline and make it spline fit. Now it is looking like a spline but it is not a spline it is a polyline. If we check it using list command enter so it is a right now it is a polyline. So we want to convert this polyline into spline. So click on spline fit object and select this just created polyline and enter. 
if now we check the type of this line list select the object enter so it is a spline x spline so in this way you can convert polyline into spline same way if you want to convert spline into polyline for that select the polyline right click spline and convert to polyline and then you will have to specify the precision so more the precision it will be more away from that spline the lesser the precision it will be more accurate suppose i give one so you can specify from 1 to, 1 to 99 value if i give minimum of one so as per that that polyline will be created so in this way you can convert spline to polyline or polyline to spline in this way we have covered all the options so we will stop here thanks for watching